What is up everyone, Luke here and time for another Tutorial Tuesday video. I know it's been incredibly long, I think the last one I did was like back in September sometime, but it's February now, a few months later, we're getting down, we're grinding, we're training. Today we have got the ledge palm, okay? So when I say ledge palm, you find something with a flat surface on top, we're gonna be gripping it, kind of like the cat hang position, and we'll be doing a palm back from there. The reason we're doing this one first and not the standard palm back is because it's actually a little bit easier. Because you get to grip on top, um, you can pull yourself up and then really practice pushing down, which is a common mistake people have when learning the palm back, as they usually just hit the wall, fall back, neck, and then die. So, prerequisite for this move, basically is just a backflip. As long as you can do a backflip and you have the awareness of going up, um, going over your head backwards and pulling into a ball, you'll be okay. Um, if you haven't seen the backflip tutorial which I posted, make sure you do watch that, I'll post that up there. Apart from that, once you've got your backflip, we are ready to go. And I'll go ahead and show you a few ways to start prepping this move just now. Okay, so to prep this move, you will need a mat or some sort of soft surface. If you have a partner, you can get them to grab your back um, and help take some of the weight off you. So when they do lower you to your back, it's not gonna hurt as much. If you don't have a mat, use some pillows, some bedding, and use sand. I probably wouldn't recommend sand as your first choice. Maybe wood chip if you're feeling really brave. Um, but mat is definitely the best choice. So to start the palm back, we're gonna be doing it from standing. You wanna get your hands or fingers in the cat hang position. So your fingers go on top of your thumbs on this side of the wall here, all right? Your arms wanna be about shoulder width apart and not fully straight, but not too bent so you're too close to the wall. They just wanna have a little bend in them, just like so. So, feet are gonna go together, just like you would in a normal back tuck. We're gonna start by crouching down slightly and then we're gonna pull up as hard as we can. We wanna get our chest over the obst obstacle. So, imagine I'm pulling down, I'm going to here before I start pushing. Okay, it's really important that you get your chest up because if you just get your chest to here and you push, look at the angle of my arm. It's slightly going down, which means when I'm actually rotating, it's gonna send my momentum downwards. And equally, if you get up, just level and then push, you're pushing straight back. As where if you come up to here and then push, you're pushing down, so you're sending your rotation upwards, which means you'll be higher than the obstacle, hopefully, and you'll have plenty of time to complete your rotation. Main thing with your feet, make sure that your toes are up, because if your toes are like this, you're gonna scrape all the skin off of your toe, and it's gonna suck. And if you have long toenails, because you're a nasty <laughs> cut them, that's gonna suck, all right? So, toes in, knees in as well, but you wanna have your knees slightly out. So when I say knees in, I mean in like a ball, but not together like that, because if your knees are together and you over rotate, your knees can come and hit you in the face. So as with most flips, knees go apart like that, and they come in for a nice clean ball. First thing we're gonna do from here is take a prep. I'm gonna quickly take the mic out. Fingers on top, jumping up onto your back. So now I'm gonna go ahead and show you the three different types of pushes which I was on about earlier. So first of all, we're gonna start with a push where we don't get our chest high and we're pushing down with our arms at this angle. So we're literally just gonna send our rotation down. It's important that you don't go over too far when you're prepping this because obviously if you go too far, you know, your neck is gonna suck. So here we go. Fingers together, feet together, sorry, fingers on the wall, feet together, pushing up. So hopefully you can see from that one which I've just shown you there that my arms were at this sort of angle which means I'm sending my rotation downwards. By the time I've hit my mat, uh, my, mat my knees aren't really coming over much, the rotation is quite slow, quite um, useless really. So I'll go ahead and show you the second one now. Cool. So variation number two, this is where we're going to push with our arms level so our chest isn't going to be up too much. So you can see from that one, my arms were level as I pushed, which means I'm not pushing down, I'm just pushing back. So you'll probably end up getting a lot of distance. And if you're doing it in proximity like this, where there's a wall behind you, it's not really ideal. Um, again, the rotation's a little bit faster, but still slow. Chances are you'll probably make it over, but you'll make it over to your knees and maybe face at best. So I'll go and show you the third one now. So this is the third and final one now, really making sure that you get your chest over the object and pushing so hopefully you can see from that one that my arms were at more of this sort of angle so when I'm pushing I'm pushing down on the object sending my rotation upwards bit out of breath now I haven't been training much recently so please excuse me 
you can probably see that I had to rotate quite slowly because my body was just trying to force me around. Um, so if you get the right arm um, angle and the good push, you're just going to send yourself around absolutely flying. Um, so when you do prep this, again, make sure that you don't push too hard so that you're going to go over or make sure you have a spot there just to make sure if you are pushing too hard that they can sort of control um, how low you land on your shoulders. So now it's time to actually go for the flip. All right. Um, there's a few different ways you can do this. You can grow a pair of nuts and just do it. You can get a spotter and get them to spot you. Or you can just mat it up and maybe go over your head just about and then build it up higher and higher as you get more confident. All right. But we'll go ahead and show you a few in slow-mo now and then I'll go ahead and talk about some good tips and some bad tips for this move. What is up everyone? So, there's a few examples of the leg palm from a few different angles. Hopefully you can see what I've been talking about in the first half of this video. Um, just a quick one. Here is Josh. I'm just going to show him um, how to spot. So for anyone wondering how to spot a palm flip, all you do is you'd have one hand on the back, one hand on the thigh like this. As he jumps up, you'd have your, his weight on your arm and you'd throw him around with his hamstring. Thanks Josh. High five. Hello darkness, my old friend. I've come to talk with you again. <laughs> so, a few basic tips. First tip, make sure when you're pulling up the wall, don't pull into the wall because your face is going to be too close. You're going to scrape your knees, it's going to hit your chin, it's going to hit your toes, and you're going to land in a ball on your neck and it's going to suck. Make sure we're pulling our chest all the way above the wall, that way we can actually push down and send our rotation upwards. Make sure we're not sending it down this way and rotate the floor or straight back, okay? Also, make sure that we're getting a decent enough push because if we don't, and we don't rotate enough, we're gonna land and then head back the wall and that hurts quite a lot, all right? So that was a tutorial on the ledge palm. I uh, hope you found that useful. If you need to, send me a video on Facebook or Instagram or anything like that, just so I can have a look and analyze it. It's better for me to see when you type in the comments because otherwise I won't be able to get a picture of what you're actually doing. Yeah. Apart from that, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube, subscribe to Inspire Free Ones YouTube, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, follow PKFR World. Haven't got the shirt on today, but imagine it's on. Just Photoshop it on. Check out the back tutorial if you haven't already seen that. And catch me next week for more.